All right, in this last example, uh, we're actually going to use um, some real life data that was uh, taken by, by the Bureau of Labor Statistics down here. And this is uh, pretty neat that uh, they're able to derive this quadratic equation uh, by looking at, at all the data. And uh, we, we won't be deriving this equation right here, but you actually can do that on a graphing calculator. It's pretty neat. I was going to read this here and see if we can make some sense out of this. So, so the consumer price index is used to measure the trends in prices for for a basket of goods purchased by typical American families. And so this index uses a base year of 1966, which is basically means that uh, the number for 1976 is 100. All right. Now the quadratic function defined by this right here, f of x equals negative 0 0.065 x squared plus 14.8 x plus 2489, approximate the consumer price index for years 1980 to 205. Okay, only between these years right here, where X is the number of years that have elapsed since 1980. All right? So here are the two questions we have right here. Use the model to approximate the consumer price index for the year 2000 to, to the nearest um, whole number. So what is the approximate consumer price index in the year 2000? Okay, and again, the X stands for the number of years, right? Okay, so... If we're going to find what, what the approximate CPI is, it starts at 1980. So we would have to take the year 2000 and subtract that from 1980, so which is 20, which means that right there is going to be our X. Okay, because it's the X is the time that I have um, elapsed since 1980. So you start at 1980, and then whatever year that you want to get the approximate, you're going to uh, subtract that from a, from a 2000 in this case. Okay, so 2000 minus 1980 is 20. So that's what we're going to plug into this little guy right here to find the approximate CPI. Okay, so the, the notation for that is, is we're going to say F of 20, meaning I'm, I'm replacing X right here with 20. So we say f of 20 equals negative 0 0.065 times 20 squared plus 14.8 times 20 plus 249. And uh, make sure you guys don't use a calculator. Do this all by hand. Ah, just joking. Yeah, right. I mean, uh, most definitely just punch this straight into your calculator uh, just as you see it from uh, left to right. So if you uh, put in negative 0.65, multiply that by 20 squared, uh, plus 14.8 times 20, and then you you add that to 249. Just straight that, just do that uh, straight from your calculator right there. Uh, then you're going to get a decimal answer of um, a 519.0. Okay. And right here, we're, we're uh, rounding to the nearest uh, number right here, so 519. Okay, so that right there is going to be our um, CPI. Okay, so that would be the answer for part A. Now, in part B, is asking us uh, what is the CPI, or in what year did the CPI reach 450? So now we're going to work backwards. If they give us the consumer uh, product right there, what year did that happen in 450? All right, so we're going to work backwards here. So instead of us knowing what X is, we're going to solve for X. So we're going to set this guy right here, um, our, our F of X, equal to 450. All right, so let me just show that right here. Um, so, so we're going to say F of X equals 450. So now we're just going to plug that into our um, equation, and we're going to solve it for X, all right? So right here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the f of x with 450. So I'm going to say 450 equals, and, and then I'm going to write this uh, quadratic right here. Okay, so negative 0 0.065x squared plus 14.8x plus 249. Okay, so we want to solve for x now. So let's go ahead and put this in standard form, and I'm going to put the uh, 450 over here, so I'm going to subtract... 450 from both sides. Watcha. So we get zero equals this whole guy. Negative 0.065x squared plus 
14.8x and uh, that gives us a negative 201. Okay, most definitely calculator all day long here. So when we plug this into the quadratic formula, we'll get negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c. And that's all over 2 times a. Okay, so I'm doing a different color here. So we put our b right here at 14.8. And then again right here, 14.8. Our a is negative 0 0.065. Our c is negative 201. And our a is negative 0 0.065. Woo, Billy! Nice little crunchy numbers there. So we get x equals negative and a positive. That, that's going to be a negative 14.8 plus or minus, uh, I'm going to go ahead and multiply this all out right here, 14.8 squared minus 4 times negative 0 0.065 times negative 201. When you multiply all that together there, you're going to get 166.78. Okay, and you might want to verify that and make sure that you, that you get that as well. And then 2 times negative 0 0.065 is negative 0.13. Okay, now obviously we're not, we can't simplify the radicals, so we can just go ahead and go straight to our two answers. So our first answer is, oh, and I'm going to use the approximate symbol here because we're going to be rounding. So the first answer uh, approximately is going to be 14.51, and the other answer is approximately 213.19. Okay, now in part B, it said to, let's see, it said round the answer, round it down. Okay, so let's just round these real quick. So 14.51, which means just uh, 14 then. Okay, so we're going to use 14. And then here, round that down. So that's just going to be 213. Okay, so only one of the answers is correct. And let's see which one makes sense. So if our, if the CPI starts at 1980 and it goes to 205, that right there is a total of 25 years, right? From, from 1980 to 205 is 25 years. So this right here is 213 years. So we can cross that guy out. We know that that's way too big. It's too big. The range, it, um, it, it um, exceeds it greatly. Okay, so we don't, we're not going to use that guy. But right here with the 14, we're going to use that guy. And uh, what we want to do is we want to take uh, the year, okay, let's see here. So we had 14, okay, so we start, so we started from 1980, right? We start at 1980, and then we're going to add 14 years. Oops, 1980, and then we're going to add the, the 14 years. And we're adding the 14 years because this, this, this number of 14 years tells us when that uh, CPI was, 450, you see. So adding uh, those guys together right there, and we get 1994. So that's the actual year that it was going to reach a CPI of 450.